channel if this is your first time here welcome host my name is deja on this channel i do focus on beauty fashion and lifestyle so if that's something that you're interested in go ahead and bang that subscribe button so today you guys are going to create this very easy holiday green eyeshadow look here if you want to see how i created this look then just keep on watching good morning you guys yes it's definitely morning welcome to another day of love and y'all look my ears the cute right we're getting into the holiday spirit so today i'm going to create a makeup look i am going to use the color pop in Rudolph palette to create today's makeup look. It's gonna be very holiday inspired. Let me take this robe off. Very holiday inspired. And I was like sitting here, I was like, do I wanna use green or do I wanna use red? I know I don't want to use both. Like that's just a little too much. Okay, so let's go in with Christmas time. We, we're gonna do green today, y'all. We doing green. I can't believe it, y'all know. In the past, I had issues with green. Green just was not my color. I always felt like it was difficult to create a nice look with green and I am a little bit limited on this palette. Um, I have one green shimmer and just this dark green Christmas tree shade. I'm just tapping Christmas tree throughout my crease. I mean this would be a pretty green to use like if I was going to do a smoky eye or something. Let me see what other palette has green in it. This could be a mistake but I'm going to take the the Mandalorian and I'm going to use the shade Babyface out of here. I'm going to use my Morphe M441 brush to apply Babyface and hopefully blend this out. Yeah, I'm nervous. Ugh. This is like a mint green shade. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm just tapping it on first and I'll blend in a minute. It's getting very ashy. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh. The shade Christmas tree is very pigmented. It is, a, it is a pretty green, I'm not even gonna lie. But it's a little bit difficult to blend out, well with this shade anyway. Maybe because this pigment is so light. But I'm gonna keep going back and forth. Well, I'm gonna keep going over this and just trying to soften up these edges of Christmas tree because it's looking harsh right now. Blending so much that my arm is going to hurt. Like, ooh. All right, y'all, and so now that those two are on, I'm gonna take the shade E.E. -E from the E -E. I feel like I'm talking to a kid. I'm gonna take EE -E and go above and just make sure that these edges are soft enough that they're not too harsh and that it's a nice, easy flow. Okay, so to make my life easy, I am not going to cut the crease, but I am going to pretty much follow the crease shape of my eye. I'm gonna use the shade Elf Practice. That's the Green Shermanis palette, which is Take this through. It's just like cutting the crease itself for not actually doing a work and applying the base um, to actually cut it. I feel like applying the base is actually harder because you're trying to make sure that it's nice and crisp versus doing it this way. I feel like it's so much easier. So this is like really beginner friendly. Like if you um, are beginning, like we're just starting out with learning how to do makeup, Get your brush and just practice follow the shape of your eye. And that's pretty much crease carving. <laughs> Except it's the easy way to crease carve. This green has like a nice yellow sparkle to it as well. It is very pretty. And my brush is dry, so the color payoff is what you see. It's pretty, it's giving. And as far as the ends, I am going to take more Christmas tree and apply that. I'm just gonna dab my brush in because this shadow is very pigmented. This would actually be pretty to do like a halo eye whip or a spotlight eye. That would be really pretty. So I have my eyeshadow on. I am going to take my JD Cole Cosmetics Liquid Gel Liner in the shade Ghost White. And I am going to use this to follow the shape of my crease. Um, I don't want this look to be too mediocre, so I'm gonna just add a little extra. I don't, I see. I don't think I want to use the wand in here. I'm gonna continue to look down because I don't want the um, the liner to transfer. I'm trying to be as neat as I possibly can. use my NYX matte black liquid liner. I'm 
trying to decide if I want to connect the front part of the two liners or not. It just looks awkward if I just left it alone. So I may just go ahead and do that. Sorry I'm not looking at y'all, but <laughs> yeah, it's a little bulky right there in the front. I'm gonna have to look like that. I need a Q-tip. Nah, he never been with a baby. Okay, y'all gotta excuse my left eye because the product started being like wonky. <clears throat> wonky towards the end and I was like good thing god dang it and it just was not applying correctly and it started looking lumpy and streaky so all right I'm going to take this ColourPop creme gel liner in the shade fast lane and apply this to my waterline now this is a green so it goes perfectly did I just break it my Hourglass um, Mineral Primer by Veil. And apply this to my face. Before I continue forward, let me go ahead and add some of Christmas Tree to my lower lash line. This is pretty much an all green. I should have put white in my waterline, I'm thinking about it. All right, if I can make this work, I'm actually gonna go over this with my NYX eyeliner in pure white. Hopefully I can get it to show up, let me see. It's not gonna be white, but it is gonna turn the liner light green which is actually okay it's like as long as the eyes are it's like it's like as long as it's not too dark i'm going to take my nyx hd photo studio photogenic concealer in a shade cw08 to conceal and highlight my foundation is the covergirl full spectrum matte ambition i'm in the shade fs420 I'm gonna take my color rain sponge to blend this out. Next, I'm going to move into powder. I'm going to use my Beauty Bakery powder. And um, I'm going to just put some of this underneath my eyes and let it sit there because I need to um, add some color to my lower lash line. So I'm going to put some, just tapping it on the back of my hand, the excess. And I'm going to use it to set the rest of my concealed areas. All right, now going back into Christmas tree, let's add this to my lower lash line. And this is the same brush that I used to apply on my, to apply um, Christmas tree throughout my crease, which is just an e.l.f. Cosmetics number eight brush. It's a contour brush actually. I'm gonna add e.l.f. Prep this to the lower lash line in the front. I'm gonna wipe off the brush that I used to apply um, Elf practice and I'm gonna go into another palette and I'm gonna take a white shadow and I want to just apply this here in the front. Let's see how this looks. All right, cool. Damn, just gonna take my sponge now and just tap the powder in. I don't see any fallout from the shadows that I applied to my lower lash line. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna use my BFF4 pencil to line my lips, and then my lip combo is gonna be the Morphe Freebird in NYX Madeline. Y'all know I love that combo.
Okay, y'all, so I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit, and I'm going to use bronzed. And I'm going to take and apply a little bit of this down the bridge of my nose. I might apply some to my cheeks, too. Y'all see that? It's just a little shine. Let me do. And then we're going to set it in place with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This feel about empty. Mm-hmm. Let me completely get myself together, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. This is what I'm looking like. I love how this came out. Y'all see my little earrings, you know, holiday season, festive. Hope y'all did enjoy this very easy tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.